Oh, hey there, lads and lasses, sailors and landlubbers. Welcome to another video about Sea of Thieves. I be your Captain Doodleman149, and welcome to another video in me company classes series. In this series, I'll be taking you to all the ins and outs of each trading company. I'll be looking at what kind of loot to expect, how to acquire said loot, and how much coin you'll be bringing back to port. We'll be looking at the Merchant Alliance today yet again. For each of these classes, I'll be directing your attention to a teacher specialized in each company. For the fifth time, would you kindly welcome the Merry Merchant. Why, hello again, fellow merchants. Tis I, the Merry Merchant, and I'd be returned to tell you all about the lost shipments that the Merchant Alliance needs you to retrieve for them. These be the most extensive voyages offered by your local Merchant Alliance representative. As I'm sure you know, not all cargo runs make it to their destinations. When a shipment be worth enough that it be lost to the seas, the merchants hire other merchants to retrieve this lost cargo along with their ship manifest. The Merchant Alliance will pay handsomely for the return of these manifests, so be sure to get them as soon as you can. Today, I'll be walking you through the steps to find these lost shipments and earn yourself a good amount of coin. Onward to becoming better traders of the Merchant Alliance. To start this voyage, you need to do what you do any other time you've been venturing out to port. Purchase the voyage from ye Bonnie Merchant Alliance representative, place it on your voyage table, and open up the scroll to see where ye be hidden. Now, let's take a look at the paper ye be holding in your hand. Now, yours may look a wee bit different than mine, but the basics of all lost shipments be the same. You can see a map of the Lost Voyages route they should have taken. This dotted line here is what I'd be talking about. You can see what islands the ship would have been near on its route. In addition to this, if you look in the bottom left, you can see the name of the Lost Merchant Mariner vessel, the starting island, and the intended destination. Typically, the start point be the outpost where you'd be purchasing a Lost Shipment Voyage at, but be careful to take note of where it starts. It can be vital to follow the path correctly. Now that you have your general bearings, let's set sail and try to retrace the journey of this Lost Ship. Fairly near to the start point, you should be able to spot a flock of birds circling something. Head to this point and you find some floats and floating in the water. Looks to be ship wreckage, does it not? These barrels typically have some resources for you, so be sure to loot them before you leave. Speaking of before you leave, you may want to grab the blue wrapped barrel. This one be holding a note from the previous crew. These notes detail some of the struggles the lost ship encountered and always give you some direction as to your next destination. Whether this be a square on the map or a specific island, you at least know you're hidden. If the clue you receive from a stop on the route mentions an island and you get there but you don't see any birds, be sure to check the shoreline to see if there be any loot. Should you find this spot, this be where the next clue be waiting in a bottle. If the clue lists a map coordinate square, you'd be only looking for birds, much as we'd be with the first stop. Also, make sure you keep an eye out at each stop along the way. If you see a shiny blue bubble either in the water or on the shores of an island, be sure to grab it. That be the key to the captain's quarters on the lost shipment. That be where most of their trade goods be kept. It be worth grabbing this key for sure. Now simply repeat these steps to follow the clues until you reach the shipwreck. The shipwreck always be comically close to the destination and be marked by a thick flock of circling seabirds. If you have visited shipwrecks before, you know the signs. You may see a piece of the ship sticking above the water. The seas will get eerily calm when you be on top of the wreck, and you should be told what ship you have found. If you be uncertain if you found the right wreck, you can always reference your lost shipment voyage papers. Now on to the recovery of the goods. Now, when you find the lost ship, you need to take the plunge to get to what you came for. Now, since ships can sink in all manner of situations, you need to be aware that not all sunken ships be looking like this one here. Some can be out of the water, some can be right at the surface, some can be deep, and some can even be on their sides or upside down even. Regardless, if you found the captain's quarters key, be sure to bring it with you. You want to unlock the door to reveal the treasure trove of trade goods and resource crates within it. See me previous company class videos on those if you haven't already. Ye can make short work of these crates if you swim them out to open water and simply let them float to the surface. Now, after you catch your breath, head back down to the shipwreck to find what you really came for, the Lost Manifest. This will reside with the remains of the captain of this year vessel. Look for the Royal Navy hat attached to a skeleton. Within this skeleton's grasp be the manifest ye be searching for. Manifests can come in a variety of grades. There be a prosperous manifest, which be brown and worth 2,000 coin. The esteemed manifest, which be orange and brown, will be worth 2,500 coin. The eminent manifest, which be yellow and worth 3,000 gold. And lastly, the revered manifest, which we have here, that be worth 4,000 gold. Once you grab the manifest, you can toss the lost shipment papers as the voyage has officially concluded. Once you have your manifest and trade goods securely aboard your vessel, should the seas be free of any privateers, head back down to the shipwreck and plunder the barrels there. You can find some rare fish, some resources, and other treasures aboard the doomed ship. The crew certainly won't be needing any of it any longer. Once you're done, make your way to the nearest outpost to see your friendly Merchant Alliance representative and turn in your goods. I hope you all learned something today, and now I turn you back to your captain. Why, thank you very much for this lesson on the manifest voyages, Merry Merchant. We always appreciate it. 
As the merchant said, these voyages be a bit longer and more arduous than other voyages offered by the Merchant Alliance, but the rewards for completing such voyages be far greater. If you be a seasoned merchant sailor, consider giving one of these voyages a try. Now, be sure to keep an eye out for any future classes regarding any of the trading companies. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring your ship's bell to be notified whenever your captain has another video for you. I'd like to thank you all for your time, and I hope you all learned something valuable today. I've been your Captain Doodleman149, and I wish you all calm seas and favorable winds.